Hi, this is Micah Williamson with CloudPoint Geographics. We're going to take a look at ArcGIS.com today and see how you can set up a personal account. First thing to do is open a browser. I'm using Safari. And I'm going to type in ArcGIS.com in the address bar and it goes right to it. Now, there's nothing here to look at. you got to actually scroll down to the bottom. And then you click at the bottom for personal use. And then again, scroll down to the bottom again. It says uh, Create Account. Uh, the third screen to do that. And then here I just enter my information. I'm creating a, a temporary account so that I can delete uh, later time, but you put in your actual material. So um, actually you need everything here, and in just a second we'll see when, then when I try to skip over the question, it actually doesn't let me create the account. It gives me an error. and says, So I have to recreate accounts. I just type in where I'm born, I put Roanoke, and then accept the terms of use. All right, uh, moving along, you create an account. That's all fine and good, but again, this is just a temporary account. The gallery tab shows you what is available to users of ArcGIS.com. Um, what we really want is the map, so we're going to click on the map button. I'm going to zoom into Roanoke, Illinois, and I'm going to create a base map. There are lots of different options here. I like the National Geographic base map, but everybody likes aerial imagery, so that's what we're going to use for the map. Uh, and this, you can actually add layers to the map. This, I'm going to type in Woodford County to be able to search the gallery for Woodford County data. There is a PLSS layer. It's actually eight sections, so we're going to use that just to be able to see that on the map. And then uh, I'm also going to add an editing layer. The editing layer adds, lets you add anything you'd like to do, uh, but first, in order to see the imagery, we've got to turn off the PLSS layer and keep the mats, map notes layer on. Click the edit button and you can add uh, push pins. And then I'm going to click a um, baseball field up here, use a push pin, and then I'm going to change the color or the symbol of the, of the push pin as well, name it baseball. I'm going to scroll down and choose a baseball field which soccer ball and basketball whatever and apply close and then there's a little icon on the map click another one um, next to the uh, soccer field is also a baseball field so I'm gonna call this a soccer field and then uh, hit done and uh, last one I'm gonna do for a point is I'm gonna actually zoom in a little bit to the pool call it pool and uh, choose a different icon for that option as well um, there it is right there uh, done and then uh, we have three icons on our map now I'm gonna add a freehand line drawing just on the north side of the town kind of go along the outside of the map and end at the first baseball field change the color so it's a little bit more obvious Hit done uh, close that and what we have is a, a map that we need to save I'm gonna give it a title and you actually have to add tags uh, this is required in order to save it and then uh, I'm going to just make the summary the same thing as what the tags are. So I'm going to copy and paste that and save map. And it is saved then to my contents folder. I can show you by going up to my contents up here. And there it is. Now, this is not shared with anyone. It's private. Um, but what I want to do is share it with everybody. It's worthy to note that this is ESRI's default now. Uh, it's either you save it privately or and nobody sees it or everybody sees it and we can go look at that uh, by going into the gallery again and we will see our open map that we just created for Roanoke uh, so we're going to type in Roanoke right here and there we go and then you can scroll down and you can see the map that we created for Roanoke Illinois and click on that and now it's shared with everyone that's just a quick look at ArcGIS.com, how to create a personal account and make a map.